And thank you, Congressman Perlmutter. I rise in strong support of the rule for supporting the credit card holders' Bill of Rights. In these difficult economic times, all credit card holders across the country should ask themselves, whose side are we on? Are we on the side of ordinary people? Are we on the side of consumers who are working hard to pay their bills every month? Or are we sitting in the boardroom of the big banks? Whose side are we on? We must protect the hardworking taxpayers everywhere in this country. Now, I'm working hard for the families of Northeast Wisconsin, who I have the honor of representing. And for too long, consumers everywhere, and including Wisconsin, have been victimized by high fees, by increasing interest rates, and confusing credit card agreements that have allowed banks to jack up interest rates at their own pleasure and at consumers' expense. The credit card holders' bill of rights will protect everyone from unfair and abusive practices. In short, it would prevent companies from constantly moving the goalposts and taking advantage of people who haven't done anything wrong. I grew up in northeast Wisconsin on the playground. We used to call these changing of the rules, the interest rates, we used to call that party shop rules. If you work hard and play by the rules, you should be able to get ahead and receive credit at a price we can afford to pay. For these reasons, I urge my colleagues to support this rule and pass the credit card holders' bill of rights. And someday, someday soon, I hope we will also be, bring fairness to the merchants who suffer from excessive bank interchange fees, which is not yet part of this legislation. And I yield back my time. Someone yields back his time.